Hi, my name is Matt from Corkscrew and today we're talking about wine and dessert. The biggest mistake that people make is trying to put dry wines with sweet foods. It just doesn't work. Even dry champagne doesn't work with cake, even though the French serve it that way. You need as much sweetness in the wine as you have in the food. Also, you need to think about the weight of the wine and the weight of the food. So we're going to start off with some really delight desserts. Something like strawberries and cream, something like panna cotta, something like lemon mousse. You want a light, delicate wine. Here we have a Moscato d'Asti, which is a Muscat sparkling wine from Piedmont in the northwest of Italy. This is both very sweet and very light and very aromatic. And it's absolutely perfect with all these kind of light fruit and creamy desserts. Moving along, we've got something more intense. We've got buttery pastry, and the buttery pastry is filled with caramelized apples. Then on the side, we've got a vanilla and salted caramel ice cream. And we need something a bit heavier than the Moscato Dasty. We need something which is going to pick out the honeyed flavors of, of the apple and the fruit and the sweetness that comes through it. And the wine that we've picked out here is a Sauterne from Bordeaux in southwest France. And they make it by allowing the vines to be attacked by a rot called noble rot. It sounds dreadful, but what this fungus does is it concentrates the sugars and gets rid of all the water content. And what you're left over with is this super sticky, thick, unctuous wine. And wines like this, made from botrytis, have aromas of apricots and quince and saffron, and they're very concentrated. It's also very good with blue cheese. So Roquefort and Sauterne is a classic flavor combination. And then finally, chocolate. Chocolate is a very difficult substance to match with wine because the chocolate almost gets in all your taste buds. So what we need is something with more strength than the two wines that went before it. The wine we picked out is a sweet red wine produced in the Languedoc region of France and it's made from the Grenache grape variety and they have added alcohol to this a bit like port to make it stronger so it's very sweet it's very chocolatey and it has the power to cut through the richness of the dark chocolate in this tart again this would work well with blue cheeses so for really light creamy desserts fruity desserts you want a light, frothy, sweet wine, and this Moscato d'Asti from Northwest Italy is perfect. If you've got anything with a slightly caramel element, with honey, with caramelized fruit, then a Botrytis wine, this one from Sauterne in Bordeaux, is perfect. Then with chocolate. Chocolate needs something with strength, with power, to cut through the chocolatiness, and this red, sweet wine, from the south of France does just a job. If you're still confused, download the app from the link below.